question numbers 31 to 35. Now these questions 31 to 35 are based on what? Floor arrangement. Eight people, PQRS, TUV and W, live on eight different floors of a building, but not necessarily in the same order. The lowermost floor of the building is number one. The one above that is number two and so on till the topmost floor is number eight. Now in total we have some eight floors, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one are the eight persons living on eight different floors. Now first fix the floors at the center. Extend the lines to the left hand side and the right hand side of this one. Now we can work out two possibilities simultaneously. Then condition number one, P lives on floor number six. This is a definite information. Now I am fixing P at this place. P lives on floor number six and only one person lives between P and U. As only one person between P and U, how many possibilities do we have? You can be either on the eighth floor or you can be on the fourth floor because only one person between P and U. Next one, only three people between U and R. Between U and R, how many persons are there? There are three persons, one, two and three. Hence, R must be on the fourth floor. And in this case, between U and R, one, two, three, R must be on the eighth floor because there must be exactly three persons between U and R. W lives immediately below R. W is immediately below R. It also W is immediately below R. T lives on an even number floor below W. Now T is on an even number floor below W. In case one, T must be on floor number two. And T on an even number floor below W. Now here also in case two also T must be on the second floor only. There is only one possible. There are as many floors between Q and S. Q and S as between S and V. Yes, what do you mean by this one? Now the number of floors in between Q and S equals to the number of between S and V. Now sir, Q and S, when that means Q and S. Now if S is here, in between Q and S, and V lives neither immediately above U or immediately below this one. Now if S is here, then what about this Q? Now if Q will be here, then in between Q and S, how many floors are there? There is one floor. And similarly between S and V also, there is one floor. Or else, and so what is the order here? R, W, P, Q, U, S, T, V. And again coming to this one, number of as there are, T lives on an even number floor below W, we have taken this one, as many floors between Q and S as there are between V, S and V. V lives neither immediately above or immediately below U. As V neither immediately above, immediately below V. Hence V cannot be at this place, hence Q must be at this place. Then coming to this arrangement, now S must be in between these two, between Q and S, S and V. S is the person who is common between these two. S must be between Q and V. Now if S is here, if Q is here, how many floors are there in between? How many persons? One person. But as here between S and V, there are three persons. Hence the, here it is not equal. Then what is the only possibility here? Case 2 is the only possibility. Now this is about question numbers 31 to 35. Please write down the final order. R, W, P, Q, U, S, T, V. R, W, P, Q, U, S, T, V is the order in which these five persons were, eight persons were staying in these eight different floors. And this is about question numbers 31 to 35. Then 36 onwards. Now question number 36 to 40, these five questions are based on syllogisms. Now question number 36 first, some figures are pictures. Now in question number 36, some of the figures are what? Some figures are pictures can be written like this. Some of the figures are pictures. Makes one, all figures are sculptures. All these figures are sculptures. Makes one. And no picture is a monument. No picture is a monument means no intersection between picture and a monument. Then first one, no monument is a figure. As of now, no monument is a figure is definitely true. And second one, some pictures are sculptures. At least is nothing but some. Some pictures are sculptures, these are pictures and this is sculpture. And some pictures are sculptures is definitely true. Now between these two conclusions, only the first conclusion is true. And the first one is a negative conclusion which is true. To make this one false, now we should prove it is complementary. What is the complementary pair to this one? 
no monument is a figure means some monuments are figures some monuments are figures tell me whether i can represent some monuments or figures like this or not monument and figure now sir this monument and figure monument and this picture should not be intersected without intersecting this picture and monument now i can draw my monument like this isn't it and this alternate diagram proven previous conclusion will be false previous conclusion false then what is your answer here only the second conclusion followed only conclusion 2 follows that is choice 2 is the answer done with this now this is about question number 36 choice 2 then coming to question number 37 now in this question number 37 what is information given here in question number 37 all squares are circles now these are the squares which are circles all squares are circles all rectangles are squares all rectangles are squares and all squares are circles now these are the rectangles all rectangles are squares and all squares are what all squares are circles next one all squares are circles all rectangles are squares then what is the first conclusion here all rectangles are squares all rectangles are circles definitely true or not all circles are squares all circles are squares is false only some of the circles are squares but not all and so only conclusion one follows one follows it is choice two then question number 38 now in this question number 38 all jeeps are cars all the jeeps are what all the jeeps are cars all jeeps are cars no car is an aeroplane no car is an aeroplane can be written like this all trains are aeroplanes all these trains are what all trains are aeroplanes all trains are aeroplanes no car is an aeroplane and all jeeps are cars then what is the first conclusion here no train is a car as no train is a car car is here train is here definitely true and no jeep is an aeroplane no jeep is an aeroplane is also true now in order to make these two conclusions false no train is a car means your conclusion must be some trains are cars tell me whether i can intersect the car and train like this here if you draw train like this if you draw train like, like this then only no train is a car will be false but if you draw train like this then what happens here aeroplane will also come along with this one and the statement no car is an aeroplane will be false alternate diagram cannot be drawn this will be true forever then coming to the second conclusion no jeep is an aeroplane in order to make this one false now we need to prove some of the jeeps are aeroplanes tell me whether i can prove my aeroplane like this if we draw aeroplane like this no car is an aeroplane will be false statement invalid alternate diagram cannot be done that will be true forever hence both the conclusions follow both one and two it is choice two question number 38 choice two is the answer then coming to question number 39 now in this 39 what is information here some skills are talents some of the skills are talents can be written like this these are the skills and these are talents some skills are talents some creativities are skills now these are the creatives which are skills then first one first one is a possibility can never can is a possibility and the second one is what second one is again a possibility now the first one all creatives can never be talents yes so how can you express this one can never be now this can never be should be written as all creatives are all creativities are talents or talents is not possible that's what we mean by can never be all creativities or talents can never can is a possibility never means not possible is not possible now we need to prove whether all creativities can be talents or not yes all creativities can be talents or not no sir i am writing my creativity and talent like this by doing so for me it is possible but as his claim is that it is not possible it is not possible is false for me it is possible and here he is claiming that it is not possible it is not possible it will be false because i could able to make it as true the next one all talents are creativities is a possibility all talents are creativities is a possibility tell me whether it is possible or not now sir as all the statements are affirmative both the statements we can write as a single diagram hence in this one it is possible isn't it hence only conclusion two follows only conclusion two that is given in choice four only conclusion two question number 39 it is choice four is the answer then coming to question number 40 now in this question number 40 no riddle is a puzzle 
no riddle is a puzzle riddle and a puzzle no intersection between riddle and puzzle no riddle is a puzzle next one some jokes are riddles some other jokes are riddles no riddle is a puzzle and some jokes are riddles first one all puzzles are jokes that is false next one some puzzles are jokes some puzzles are jokes that is also false and so neither conclusion one nor two follows that is choice one is answer and this is about question number 36 to 40 then 41 and 42 now this question numbers 41 and 42 these two questions are based on direction sense point a is 20 meters to the west of b now b is here now a is how many meters a is 20 meters to the west of point b a is 20 meters to the west of point b b is 12 meters to the south of point c and b is 12 meters to the south of point c and c is 10 meters to the east of d and c is how many meters 10 meters to the east of d as c is 10 meters to the east of d and d is 5 meters to the north of e and this d is how many meters to the north of e just 5 meters and the distance between d and e is 5 meters isn't it then what is the distance between these to the left of distance is 7 meters then if point g is 8 meters to the north of e and g is 8 meters to the north of e now e is here g is 8 meters to the north of e means here the distance is 4 5 and this will be 3 and g is 5 meters to the north of e g is 5, 8 meters to the north of e then which of the following will be the nearest point to g yes which is the nearest to point g here only d is the nearest d that is given in choice 4 then question number 42 now in this question number 42 in which direction is point a with respect to point e a with respect to point e now a with respect to point e, e is here and a is here now this a is in which direction with respect to you tell me here now e to a now a is now this is south and this is west and the southwest is the answer southwest and it is given in choice 5 now question number 42 choice 5 then 43 onwards now question numbers 43 onwards it is based on what it is based on sequence alpha numerical sequence has been given in this one then question number 43 four of the following four of the following five are following a particular pattern and hence form a group and find the one which does not belong to that group and it comes from which category it comes under odd man out now tell me what is the relation between w m and pound w and m where is w is here w and m w to m one two three four we are moving four elements backwards m and pound m and pound m two pound how many elements we are moving forward here m two pound one two plus two hence minus four plus two then again between end and percentage end and percentage one two three and and percentage now end is here n2 percentage 1 2 3 4 that is minus 4 and percentage and 4 percentage and 4 1 2 plus 2 hence minus 4 plus 2 minus 4 plus 2 is valid and again coming to choice 3 a 9 and q between a and 9 1 2 3 4 minus 4 and 9 and q 9 to q 1 2 plus 2 here again the difference between these two elements is minus 9 minus 4 plus 2 minus 4 plus 2 9 and 8 between 9 and 8 what is the relation here 1 2 3 4 minus 4 and 8 and u 1 2 plus 2 minus 4 plus 2. then what about choice for here p j and 5 now p and j 1 2 3 4 minus 4 and j and 5 now j and 5 1 2 minus 2 then what is your answer here except choice 5 and in the remaining terms minus 4 plus 2 minus 4 plus 2 minus 4 plus 2 here it is minus 4 minus 2 that is the odd one except the choice for the remaining 4 follows a particular pattern hence the choice 5 is the odd one then question number 44 now in this question number 44 and 7 and k now it comes under series and 7 k p 4 and l and 2 b and 8 2 b 8 next one 5 copyright u 5 copyright and u then what should be the next one and and p check all the elements here and and p and is here and 2 p how many elements we are moving backwards here 1 2 3 minus 3 and and p minus 3 
p and 2 1 2 3 again minus 3 and 2 and 5 1 2 3 minus 3 and 5 minus 3 1 2 3 that is 6 is the first element what is the first element here 6 is the first element now among the given choices 6 is given in which choice only choice 3 no need to check for the remaining elements because 6 is there in only when one choice 44 then question number 45 now in this 45 if all the symbols are dropped from the arrangement then which one of the following will be the 14th element from the right end from the right end without the symbols a start counting from the right end without the symbols here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 as yes, what is the 14th element here q is the 14th element that is given in choice 5 and question number 46 how many such letters are there in the given arrangement now the question is about what how many such letters how many such letters i am representing the letter with l how many such letters are there in the given arrangement each of which is immediately followed by a symbol followed by a symbol means after this letter symbol must be there and immediately preceded by a number immediately preceded by a number hence what is the term here number letter and symbol should be the sequence yes tell me how many are there number letter and symbol number is here this number is not followed by letter 8 is a number not followed by letter next one 9 is a number followed by letter and it is not followed by symbol this is also ruled out next one and 6 is a number followed by letter but is not followed by symbol and that's also ruled out 5 is a number not followed by letter this is also ruled out and 2 is a number followed by letter b and the percentage hence number letter and symbol next one four numbers not followed by this and so how many do we have there is only one such letter preceded by number followed by a symbol choice so 5 then question number 47 which of the following is 8th to the left of 8th to the left of 19th element from the left hand now left hand left left hand left means same direction same direction we should subtract these two 19 minus 8 is how much 11 now we need to find out the 11th element from the left hand 11th element from the left hand has yes, start counting here 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and the 11th element from the left hand is q and it is given in choice 3 clear now now this is about question numbers 43 to 47 then coming to 48 onwards now question numbers 48 to 52 these five questions are based on square table now how many persons are there in total we have some eight persons a b c d e f g and h are the eight persons seated around a square table four persons are seated at the corners and while four in the middle the one who seated at the four corners are facing the center now what is information here now eight persons four at the corners are facing towards the center and the remaining four persons who are at the centers are facing away from the center isn't it facing away from the center then condition number one f sits at one of the corners of the table as f is seated at one of the corners of the table now i am fixing this f at this place f can be in any one of these four corners now we can fix this at one of the corner f sits at one of the corners of the table e sits to second to the right of f hence e will be in the other corner e sits to second to the right of f only two people between e and b as only two people between e and b how many possibilities do we have two possibilities now this is the first possibility between e and b there are how many persons two persons and what is the second possibility do we have one two three four and five six seven eight now the persons who are seated at the corners are facing the center and the centers are facing away from the center and f is at this corner e will be here two people between f and b e and b hence b must be at this place done with this as of now we have some two possibilities only two people between e and b a sits a second to the right of b in the first case as b is away from the center a must be here a sits second to the right of b and in the second case also a sits away from the center b sits away from the center a sits a second to the right of b only three people between a and g now three people between a and g among these eight persons three people in between is nothing but they are opposite to each other and a and g are opposite it also a and g are opposite c faces the same direction as g as c and g are facing the same direction c is facing a g is facing away and c must also be away from the center here also c must be away from the center and d is not an immediate neighbor of b as d is not an immediate neighbor of b now in this case 
finally d can be either here or here but as if you observe here both these two places are an immediate neighbor of b hence it cannot be the case and the second case is ruled out now we are left with only the first case and so d must be here if d is here then who is the person left over here a b c d e f and g is here h is the person here done with this d is not an immediate neighbor of b. this is how these eight persons are seated around this square table four seated at the corners and four at the centers the persons who are seated at the corners are facing the center and the centers are facing away from the center done with this one now this is about question numbers 48 to 52 let's write down this arrangement then let us discuss about 53 to 55 now 53 to 55 these three questions are based on data sufficiency now in this data sufficiency only two statements are given isn't it then question number 53 now in this 53 in a straight line of how many people are there there are in total we have some eight persons one two three four five six seven eight now among these eight people who stands third from the left end of the line now we need to find out the person who is seated third from the left end of the line and k stands an extreme end of the line as k is an extreme end of the line here it is not clearly specified whether k is at the left extreme or at the right extreme isn't it now k can be left extreme that is the first possibility k can be at the right extreme that is the, it is the second possibility three people between k and p three people between k and p hence p will be here and h stands to the immediate left of p as all these persons are facing towards which direction north h stands to the immediate left of whom immediate left of p h will be here now in this case also h will be here then who is seated out to the left hand side of this one here then tell me what is answer who stands third from the left end of the line now in the second case h is standard at the left end of the line and in the first case apart from this k h and p the remaining five persons any person can be at the third place isn't it hence how many answers do are you getting here we are not 100 percent sure about whether h or anyone else hence one alone is not sufficient then coming to the condition number two now in condition number two what is given here one two three four five six seven eight s stands out from the right end of the line s will be here only one person between s and p as only one person between s and p again we have some two possible days five six seven eight s is here one person between s and p then only one person between s and p j is an immediate neighbor of p as j is an immediate neighbor of p j can be here here j can be either at this place or at this place and with the help of condition number two either j can be at the left position third position from the left end or someone else can be at the third place here also we are not 100 percent sure about the person who is seated exactly at the center third from the left one alone is not sufficient and two alone is not sufficient then by combining this if you combine these two now s stands third from the right end of the line now we are combining condition number two into condition number one s is third from the right end of the line and next one only one person between s and p as only one person between s and p p will be here now in this one only one person between s and p and at the same time and only one person between s and p j is an immediate neighbor of p as j is an immediate neighbor of p j is an immediate neighbor of p in this case j is an immediate neighbor of p is ruled out isn't it now we are left with only this case and j is an immediate neighbor of p j must be at this place are we getting the answer or not yes what is the answer we are getting here case stands at the next team end of the line and three people between k and p p will be fixed the h stands to the immediate left of p is given then what is your answer here who stands third from the left end of the line h is standing third to the left end of the line then what is your answer here the data in both statements one and two together are sufficient that is given in choice three done with this are we getting a unique answer or not h is third from the left end of the line then coming to question number 54 now in this question number 54 what is information here five persons a b c d and e who scored the least in an examination now one two three four five now who scored the least in the examination that means now we need to find out the person who will be at the fifth place now the person who will be at the fifth place b scored more than b b scored more than now the question is about whom the question is about the least now the fifth position b scored more than d as b scored more than d 
among these five persons A, B, C, D, and E, D, and B cannot be at the last place because B is scoring more than D, and A score lesser than D. As A score lesser than D, D cannot be at the last place because A can be lesser than this D. Next one, A score lesser than D. Then what is the other information here? B scored more than D, but not the highest. A scored lesser than D, but more than E. Now this A scored more than whom? A scored more than E. Hence E cannot be. A scored more than E. Hence A cannot be the last one. Then who can be at the last one here? Either C or E can be at the last place. Hence one alone I could not able to determine between C and E who scored the least. Then coming to condition number two. A score lesser than C. As A score lesser than C, now C cannot be at the last place. And B, and A score lesser than C and B. A score lesser than both these two persons, C and B, and C and B cannot be the least. And at the same time, and A score less, and but not the least. A itself is not the least. As A is not the least, A B C cannot be at the least place. Now we are left with A that D R. D scored more than A. As D scored more than A. D cannot be at the last place. Then who is the person here? Now who is the only person left over? E scored the least marks. Are you getting a unique answer or not? And with the help of two alone, I am getting a unique answer that E only E is E scored the least marks. Then what is your answer here? Only two alone is sufficient. The data in two alone is sufficient. That is given in choice two, choice two alone, choice four. Then question number fifty-five. Now in this question number fifty-five, on which day of the same week, starting from Monday to Sunday, did Ranvijay complete his graduation? Now we need to find out the day on which this person has completed the graduation. Then condition number one, Ranvijay's brother correctly remembers that he completed his graduation after Tuesday, but before Friday. After Tuesday, but before Friday, either it could be Wednesday or Thursday. With the help of condition number one, we are getting two different answers: either Wednesday or Thursday. Then condition number two. Ranvijay's friend correctly remembers that he completed his graduation after Wednesday, but before Saturday. After Wednesday, before Saturday, it could be either Thursday or Friday. One alone, two different answers. Two alone, two different answers. Hence, one alone and two alone is not sufficient. Then, by combining these, if you combine these two, what is the day which is common between these two? Thursday. Hence, this person has completed his graduation on Thursday. Hence, so how are you getting the answer here? Only by combining these two statements. Hence, one and two together are required. That is given in choice four. Question number fifty-five. It is choice four. Now, question numbers fifty-six to sixty. Now, in this fifty-six to sixty, these five questions are based on based on coded inequalities. Now, the relation between K and O, O and K. O less than or equals to K means K greater than or equals to O. But as here, K less than or equals to O, that is false. Then, coming to the second one, F and C. F greater than C is definitely true. That is C less than F is true. Only conclusion two follows. That is choice one, fifty-six choice one. Then fifty-seven. The relation between X and S. X is here. S is here. Now between O and S, O less than or equals to S. And between O and X, what is the relation here? X and O are one and the same. Now what is the final conclusion here? X is either less than or equals to S. That's what the conclusion we have. But as here, x greater than s is false. Then what happened to the second one here? B greater than e. Now between B and e, what is the symbol which is common? Only greater than is common. Hence, B greater than e definitely true. Only two follows choice two. Fifty-seven choice two. Then coming to question number fifty-eight, the relation between m and n. Between m and n, there is one greater than, one less than, isn't it? Hence, two opposite symbols, no relation between these two. First conclusion does not follow. Then coming to the second one, the relation between E and N. N is here, E is here. What is the element which is common between these two? N greater than or equals to U. E less than or equals to U means U is greater than or equals to E. Now between N and E, N greater than or equals to E, which implies that E less than or equals to N definitely two. And so only conclusion two follows. Only conclusion two, and it is given in choice, choice four, fifty-eight choice four. Then coming to question number fifty-nine. Now in this one, O greater than or equals to D. Now between D and E, what is the symbol which is common here? Less than or equals. 
D lesser than or equals to O is true, which implies that O greater than or equals to D, definitely true. Then coming to the second one, the relation between P and D is one lesser than, one greater than, two opposite symbols, no relation. Hence, only conclusion one is true. Only conclusion one, and it is given in choice three. 59 choice three. And 60, now question number 60, the relation between A and S. Now between A and S, there is one lesser than, one greater than, two opposite symbols between these two, first conclusion does not follow. Then coming to the second one, N and P. Between P and N, one greater than, one lesser than, two opposite symbols, no relation between these two, hence neither one nor two, that is given in choice four. Now question number 60, the choice four is the answer. Then 61 to 65, yes, what is given in this one, 61 to 65 here, 12 people are there, 12 people are seated in two parallel rows containing six people in each. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and another row, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In total, we have some 12 persons. And in row 1, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, and all of them are facing south. Now, U, 2, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z, U, through Z, are facing towards south. And in row 2, and who are the persons in row 2? A to F are the six persons who are facing towards north. Then, C sits out to the right of F. C does not sit at any of the extremes of the line. As C is not at any extremes of the line, as C is here, and C sits out to the right of F, F will be here, that is one possible. Then what is the second possible here? 3, 4, 5, 6. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If F is here, then C will be here, that is the second possible. And C sits out to the right of F. C is seated out to the right of F. Next one, C does not sit at any of the extreme ends of the line. Next one, the one who faces F sits second to the right of X. Now the one who is facing X, this person is seated second to the right of X. Now the one who is facing F sits second to the right of X. X sits second to the right of U. As X is seated second to the right of U, U will be here. Now here, U will be here. X is seated second to the right of U. Only two people between X and Y. As only two people between X and Y, Y will be here. As only two people between X and Y, Y will be here. Next one, Y faces D. As Y faces D, Y and D are opposite to each other. Here also Y and D are opposite to each other. Y faces D. Only one person between Y and W. As only one person between Y and W, W is here. Now, it also W will be here. Z to, sits to the immediate right of V. Z is to the immediate right of V. Z sits to the immediate right of V. Here Z is to the immediate right of V is not at all possible. And the first case is ruled out. Now we are left with only the second one. And E sits to the immediate right of A. As E is to the immediate right of A, this is E and this is A. A and the person who is left over is B. Now this is how these 12 persons are seated in two different rows. Six people in each of these rows. This is about question number 61 to 65. Done with this? Now this is about paper number 61. Question numbers. 31 to 65. Yes, anything else left over in this paper? Yes. Number series question numbers 81 to 85. Now in this question numbers 81 to 85, what is given in this one? Question number 81. Now 4.5 and 9. Yes, so how to express this one? 4.5 and 9 can be written as into 9, into 2. 4.5 into 2 is 9. And 9 into 2.5 is 22.5. 18 plus 4.5 is 22.5. And whatever this one, this must be into 1.5. 3 into 1.5 is 4.5. Then check out the pattern here. 2.5, 2, 1.5. To and the next one must be into 0.5. And into 6 into 0.5 is 3. And 3. And 3 into 1 is 3. Into 1.5 is 4.5. Into 2 and 2.5. Now the given numbers are multiplied with 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5. Then what is the missing number here? 3 is the missing number. It is given in choice 4. Then question number 82. Now in this question number 82, 400, 416. Yes, what is the difference between 400 and 416? As the numbers are increasing at a, decreasing at a very smaller rate. Hence it must be under difference. 400, 416. And next one is 380 and 444. Blank and 488 are the numbers. Then the difference between 400 and 416, it is plus 16 and 16 and 80. Now 20 and 16, what is the difference between these two here? 36 and 80 and 44. 80 and 44, what is the difference here? 64. 
then what are these numbers 16 36 64 can be written as 4 square 6 square 8 square now here first it is plus next one is what next one is minus first plus 4 square next one is minus 6 square next one is plus 8 square next one is minus 10 square what is 10 square here 100 444 minus 100 it will be 344 and it is given choice one question number 82 344 choice one and the next one must be plus 144 344 plus 144 it is 488 squares of even numbers are added and subtracted alternately now question number 82 then coming to question number 83 10 17 now 10 and 17 how to express this one 10 17 and 38 and after this 38 101 and blank and 8 then now 10 and 17 Yes, so how to express this one 10 and 17 the difference between these two is plus 7 and 17 and 38 the difference between these two is 21 here the difference between these two is 38 and 101 <coughs> 67 plus 1 it will be 63 now the difference between these two is 60 then how to express the relation between this 7 into 3 21 21 into 3 63 and the next one 63 into 3 should be added what is 63 into 3 189 189 plus 101 then what is the number here 290 as this is 290 and the next two numbers must be how much 189 into 3 what is 189 into 3 189 190 into 3 is how much 570 570 minus 3 that will be 567 should be added now if we add 567 tell me what is the number here this will be 857 clear here it is wrong in the place of 8 it must be 857 clear now now the difference between the numbers are multiplied with into 3 into 3 into 3 and so on now this is about question number 83 choice 5 290 is the answer then question number 84 now in this question number 84 5 4 7 20 and 5 and 4 84 5 into 4 can be written as 5 into 1 minus 1 is 4, 4 into 2 is 8 minus 1 is 7, 7 into 3 21 minus 1 is 20, and 20 into 4 80 minus 1 is 79. Now 79 into 5 minus 1. 8 into 5 400 minus 5 is 395 minus 1, 394. And 394, and it is given choice 5. Now this is about question number 84. Then question number 85, 220. Now. Now the numbers are in the decreasing order. Whenever the numbers are in the decreasing order, we should always start in the reverse order only, isn't it? Now 24 and 52, how can you express this one? 24 into 2 is 48, plus 4 is 52, and 52 into 2, 104 plus 4, 108, 108 into 2, 216 plus 4, 220, and 3 into 2 plus 4. What is 3 into 2? 6 plus 4, 10. 10 into 2 plus 4 is 24. Then what is the missing number here? 10 is the missing number and it is given in choice 5. Now this is about question number 81 to 85.